This lesson is on prisms and pyramids. A prism is a 3D geometric figure that has two bases that are congruent and parallel to each other. This means they are the same size and shape and parallel. In the pictures above, notice that one of the bases has been colored. Can you see the opposite base in the rectangular prism? The pink base is a rectangle and on the opposite side we have a congruent rectangle which is parallel to it. The other faces then the bases are called lateral sides with lateral meaning sides. These lateral sides must be polygons. In fact, they're always some sort of parallelogram. In most of these pictures we see that they are rectangles. A prism can be oriented in any direction. So if you look at this triangular prism, you might think that it's a rectangular prism, but notice where the parallel bases are. It's the triangles. It's just been tilted over to look like a tent. A prism is named by the shape of its base, as well as whether it's convex or concave, and its orientation, whether it's right or oblique. The base is always a polygon, and every lateral side is always a quadrilateral. Here we have an oblique parallelopiped. A parallelopiped, say that three times fast, is a prism that has a parallelogram for a base. Notice it is oblique because if we drop a line from the top center to the bottom center, it's not going to be perpendicular to the base or the table. The right trapezoidal prism has a trapezoid on the top and the bottom. This concave hexagonal prism is concave because if we wrapped a rubber band around it or sat it up so the dented in part was touching the table, the face would not kiss the table. A regular prism, remember regular means all equal angles, all equal angles, edges, and all the faces are exactly the same shape and size. Well, that forces it to be a cube with faces that are squares. Notice that if you cut any of these prisms into slices that are parallel to the base, every single slice is exactly congruent to the others. It's like a whole stack of little mini right trapezoids that stack up to become a right trapezoidal prism. A pyramid is a 3D figure formed by a polygon on the base and an opposite vertex. Each lateral face is always a triangle. The pyramid can be concave or convex, it can be right or oblique, and it's named by the shape of its base. Here we have a square pyramid. The base is the square and the sides rise to the opposite vertex. The hexagonal pyramid has a hexagon for the base and a triangular pyramid has a triangle for the base. Below we see a concave right pyramid. Concave because again it dents in. If we tilted this pyramid over on its side, the faces would not be able to kiss the table. We also have a pair of oblique triangular pyramids. Oh, triangular because the base is triangular and oblique because they too are leaning. Prisms and pyramids can be constructed from nets. Here are two examples of nets. If we cut these out of cardstock, fold them up and tape them or glue them along the little tabs, it would make on the left a pentagonal prism and on the right a triangular or square pyramid. Nets are often used later when we do area. It's easier to find surface area of a 3D object if we think about what the net looks like. 